stop what you are doing right now and listen up because most of you out there are ignoring your brides and I'm going to tell you all about that in today's show. Well, hey there, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Bridal Business TV. I am your host, Dawn Rose. And in today's show, we're gonna talk about how you are ignoring brides who are coming on to your websites, onto your social media, and what we can do about attracting them and getting their attention. So I hope that you guys are well. Um, For those of you who have never met me before, my name is Dawn Rose. I help the overwhelmed, uninspired, and downright deflated hair and makeup artists knock the tiaras off their brides by turning their business into an ever catching in cash register that helps you attract brides who book you in advance, pay you on time, and never haggle your prices. So welcome guys, welcome back to the show. I have been absent for a couple of weeks because it's been school holidays. So um, I have been doing stuff with the kids, but I am back Wednesdays and Thursdays streaming live on Facebook, giving you your tips and tricks to building a successful wedding business. Um, So do let me know where you're coming in from. Thank you to those of you watching on the replay. Um, Today, we're going to kind of look at how and why we are ignoring brides and what we can do to perhaps draw more brides in. And if you guys are interested in learning more about this, more in depth, I'm actually going to be running a class. So you can go to bridalbusinessschool.com forward slash book more brides. If you type that in, to, you can um, sign up for my masterclass I'm going to be doing all about this all about how we can connect with more brides basically how we can take more brides from inquiry or like let's face it just take them from a a, you know a a like on your page right way through into actually becoming a booking and that's what we want we want more brides we want more brides booking with us but I want to start off by kind of I guess kind of sharing why and how we are um ignoring brides and how we can perhaps attract more of them to our business. I'm just making sure that I am, if one can, guys, let me know. I can see that there's people joining me on the stream this morning. So please let me know that you can hear me okay and that you can see me fine. I think it's coming up all right, but it's kind of frozen up. Um, it's kind of frozen for me. So I just wanted to check that everyone can see everything and I'm loading up my comments right now as well. Hey, morning, Tina. How are you going, doll? Morning, morning. How was it in uh, New South Wales this morning? It's, it's uh, a bit dreary here today in uh, Victoria. It's just one of those, it's that time of the year, isn't it? But my husband was up in Sydney the last couple of days and he said it was actually quite nice and it's gonna be really warm at the weekend as well. But uh, it's uh, it's shocking, it's shocking here fast. <laughs> as usual, it's cold, miserable. It's Melbourne. All right, let's get started because the biggest thing that we want these days for our prospective clients to do is what? Connect, yeah? We want them to connect with us via, uh, you know, we kind of want them to connect with us wherever we can because if we can make a connection, we can then hopefully engage with them have some kind of engagement, either that be over social media, or whether that be over email. And then hopefully that client from creating that great engagement, that client's gonna then become um, an actual paid booking with us. And and in essence, what we want from them um, as, a, as a business and what they want from us, especially if we look at this in terms of social, social media, is we want them to stop the scroll and they want us to stop them, right? They're looking for us as hairstylists and makeup artists. That's what they're looking for. They need a hair and makeup artist for their wedding. And so therefore, that's that's what they want us to do. They want us to be able to grab their attention and stop them from scrolling on by, right? So the, the key is, is that 
even on your website, they're doing the same thing. So some people are landing on your website, but again, they're just kind of, they're looking around and then they're disappearing again. And you know why? It's because we're not giving them a reason to stay. And I know it's kind of easier said than done these days because, you know, people's attention span is so much shorter. I mean, we've got that kind of, we're in that whole three second world where you grab someone's attention within three seconds or they're gone. But there's brides right in front of you. There's brides that are hitting your social media. There's brides that are jumping on Facebook. They may be, they may or may not be liking your page, but they're probably liking what they see. They're jumping on Instagram. They're seeing your post. They might give you a double tap, um, you know, and you've got that heart. But the problem is, is that you're not getting them to then move across from being just that browsing bride to actually being that booked bride. Okay. So I'm going to take this in two parts today. So today's kind of part one. Um, and I want to talk to you about sort of the first things that we can do. And then part two tomorrow, I'm going to talk about another way, another reason why that we're kind of ignoring our brides and, and how we can, again, rectify that. Because this is kind of a different situation. So we're either ignoring them when they um, are contacting us. Um, so that's one side of things or they're ignoring or we're ignoring the ones that haven't contacted us but could potentially contact us if we actually did things around um, getting their attention right so when a bride isn't ready to book I always say I've said this a few times before in the past we have a bride a and a bride b essentially so bride a's are those brides who are primed right they're ready they may have been following you for a while they've been um they're excited their wedding's coming up within the next kind of 12 months and they want to make a booking with you right so they're kind of ready they're ready to get the quote and they're probably ready at that point to then follow up after that quote you then have the bride bees. The bride bees are those brides who are literally just browsing right now. They're not quite ready to make a commitment, but it's our job, it's our job to move them forward. And we want to move them forward, obviously, with us. Now, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can do that with um, your your posts, you can do it with videos, you can do it with blogs, that kind of stuff. So you get them, draw them in, draw them over to your website and get them engaged. But the biggest thing you can do, the biggest thing that's going to stop brides from being ignored, so disappearing and then never coming back, is to get them off of social media. And it sounds a bit kind of counterintuitive because obviously we want to have more likes, more comments, more shares. We want engagement on our social media, but I've said it before, we don't own social media. It's not our platform, okay? It's, it's somebody else's platform. It, but if you can get them off of social media and get them to part with their name and their email address, then you can get them onto an email list which does belong to you. And therefore you can communicate with those brides and get their attention and kind of draw them into your products and services using email. So with emails as well, you have to remember that they, they most people check their inbox every day. So every day they're looking through emails. If they're seeing that there's an email that's coming in from you, not every day, but maybe like once a week, once every couple of weeks, it's very likely that they're gonna click on it and read it. But we know that only, what, one to 6% of our posts get seen on Facebook and Instagram. So are the chances of them seeing your posts gonna be higher than them reading an email? Definitely not. They are definitely more likely to see an email from you than they are to see a post. Now you do have your regular um, clientele that may come back and they may come over to your social media quite frequently. And I've talked about as well, creating consistent weekly content that brings people back. And that's all well and good, but you know that's not gonna say that they're gonna become a customer. And again, like, if they're already um, in that kind of primed mode and they already follow you, they already like you, they're already commenting, then I'm kind of, they're, they're, again, they're, they're moving more to being that bride A. Whereas the ones who aren't ready, the browsing brides, the browser who are just kind of like browsing around for a hair and makeup artist, they're the ones who are gonna hit your page and disappear. But if you can find a way to get them off of your page, off of your social media and onto your email address, you're then gonna be able to 
connect with those brides you're going to be able to nurture them with your emails and then you're going to be able to then move them forward into converting them into an actual paid booking is everyone getting what i'm saying there let me know now if i've intrigued you a little bit on this i'm going to do a part two i'm going to talk about how we can keep them more engaged with our emails tomorrow and then if you guys are interested you can type the word masterclass in the comments and you will be directed to a new training that I've got coming up at the end of this month the 29th and 31st of July um, or you can go to bridalbusinessschool.com forward slash book more brides which is right there just here and you can sign up for the new masterclass and we're going to talk about how we can convert more people in that masterclass we're going to dive in a bit deeper we're going to talk about how we convert convert more people from just a like or a follow into an actual paying customer so if that sounds good let me know in the comments uh comment the word masterclass or go to bridalbusinessschool.com for such book more brides um part two is tomorrow and we're going to be talking about how we can um make better use of our emails tomorrow and how we can keep connecting with our brides especially when we hear in the forums things like brides saying that they have found someone else and they've decided that they want their deposit back we want to stop all of that and i'm going to tell you all about that tomorrow all right guys that's it for today nice and quick i shall see you guys again tomorrow bye for now